up YouTube? It's your girl Jada Jone and I am back with another video and as you already see by the title today I am back with yet another lookbook. Today is going to be a Valentine's Day lookbook. It is currently January I think the 18th and Valentine's Day is less than a month away so I want to go ahead and get started posting these videos so you guys can get some looks, start ordering stuff, kind of get into it. First and foremost if you're new to my channel welcome. I hope you find it in me to stick around because I would very much love that and if you're returning welcome back. Y'all already know how these videos go basically in today's video i tried to do more of like an affordable type of lookbook really this was supposed to be a she in lookbook the stuff that she in sent me a lot of it wasn't given so i had to kind of cut it down condense it and add some stuff that i already had really hope you guys enjoy this lookbook as always comment down below what your favorite look is sizes and links will be in the description box if i cannot find an exact link i will link something similar within range and so i'm super excited but i'm gonna go ahead and scoot over to the right and we're gonna get into the tea the very first look we're gonna start with something real simple real lax some cargo pants that i got from fashion nova i bought these to go see the renaissance movie these are in a size size large in the color charcoal and i really thought these were cute i wasn't I, i'm not really really big on cargos because sometimes they can look real crazy on me but these actually look really nice a silver ish color and i paired it with this blazer this crop blazer that I got from Pretty Little Thing. And it's like this heather gray blazer. And this is a size USA 10. I really hope this is still on Pretty Little Thing. Because I bought it for like $8. It was on a really, really high sale. These super cute freaking heels that I got. I got these shoes from Amazon. I paired it with this heart bag that she, not she in. Um, who sent me this? I see hair sent me this one year for Valentine's Day and I paired it together. It's not quite the same exact pink, but I still thought this was like a cute pairing. I really, really loved how this came together. It was given, like I like the cargo with like a crop type of look with the blazer. It just gave grown and sexy. I really did have to tape my boobs up because I didn't want to wear anything under it. So I had to really tape them up. I got this dress from Fashion Nova. This is in the size medium. I really, really, really wasn't crazy about how this looked on me. I saw it like on the model and stuff and it was super cute on her. But I don't know how I feel about it on me. I'll have to watch the camera footage back. But I know when I was looking in the mirror, I didn't really like how it looked. And it's see-through. And maybe I got to find the white, right undergarment to wear under it. But I wasn't crazy about it. With these black boots. These are some Gianni Beanie boots that I got from Dillard's uh, like the other day. And I really, really like these boots. I've been needing like a plain black boot. I have like black thighs and I And then again, it could be the pairing with this. Because originally when I bought this dress, I want to wear heels. So maybe I don't really like it with the boots. But Okay, so we're going to do something that I wasn't really crazy about. I'm going to just sprinkle these in here and there. Because y'all may like them. I don't know how I felt about these on me. But I'm going to just sprinkle them in in between. Because it was some looks that killed. And it was some looks that need to be killed. But they're, none of them are terrible. It's just like, I may not know if that's how I would style it if I were to wear it. So next, I was trying to go for like a monochromatic type of red look. So it's just this red dress, which I actually really, really like this dress. What I would do is maybe make this dress shorter for me to fit like exactly how I want it to. I feel like there's a lot of extra fabric. In the torso area that i really just don't need i would want this this part rather than sitting on my thighs i would want it to cuff like right at my butt if that makes sense it's a really really nice dress i got it in a size medium i feel like that was the perfect size to get for me i have a zipper and it's really really thick quality and satin and this is from shein i paired it with these red heels that i got from public desire like a year ago i favored these shoes with this dress now i'm not saying that i wouldn't wear a red heel with the dress i would wear a red heel with the dress or like a silver or with my red jack mousse jack i always say it wrong i don't know bag and like i said i was going for a monochromatic look it's really cute but i think i think it was something with the cut of the dress that was kind of like triggering me i didn't really like the cut of the dress but we're gonna move on to something that i really really liked I'm probably not going to keep this only because I know that there is better out there. I was trying to make this haul kind of affordable because, you know, like, 
we're in a recession and it's a lot going on in the world and everybody don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on clothes you know so i want to make sure that i got something out for my girls who do love a good shein piece this is the dupe of the cuckoo set i really 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 want the cuckoo set in pink i think it's called something else on the site but i've been eyeballing it I really want that set i don't know when i'm gonna wear it but i really really want it so i gotta figure out when i'm gonna wear it when i'm gonna get it this is a good dupe for somebody who don't want to spend like 200 it's like 160 i think for the set so this is a good dupe it's definitely not as thick and snatching as the cuckoo set but it's still give you that look but i still want to go back and get the cuckoo set just because i feel like it would give that extra reinforcement if you don't want to spend that much money on that outfit you can definitely get a dupe for the low on shein and it got every single color so this is the pink set and i'm sure y'all saw these sets going around and yeah i got it in a size i want to say medium this shoe absolutely hurts so bad i've never worn this shoe and it's so freaking adorable it has like this little ball in the middle and this fur it's so so cute but these are strictly barely picture shoes like i don't even see like i can't even barely stand for real i paired it with my kurt geiger purse this is the only kurt geiger purse that i own i'm not really crazy about kurt bags just because like i'm not crazy about the symbol i think that's what does something to me the bird i don't know how i feel about the bird but this one was too cute to pass up it's literally pink it's like velvet material and it has like these little pink rhinestones all over it it's so so cute so i actually really do like this bag i might go ahead and order the actual set from cuckoo that way it may be here by valentine's day because i want to take myself out for valentine's day I don't have a valentine i'm single when y'all be when i be telling y'all i'm single like i really mean single like i don't text nobody i don't talk to nobody i'm so adult like i don't got no man but that's okay i'm content i'm at peace <laughs> thing that i got which i already had this is this house of cb dress it's this long light pink dress it's a tea party I'm actually trying to sell this dress, so if you want to buy it, shoot me a price and we can make something shake. I think I paid like $300 for this dress. Um, it is a size large, pretty really good quality, and it literally snatches you in. It literally, once I put this dress on, I felt like a princess. If y'all remember that vlog, it literally just ate so bad. House of CB dresses are top, top tier. Like anytime I have an event, I want to go there because their dresses, they're, I literally tried on like six, five or six dresses at House of CB and I didn't pick all of them, but I literally loved how all of them fit, if that makes sense. So it's just this dress and it has like this ruching at the top and like this corset type of thing going on. And I just think it's super cute. I mean, it's nothing major to it. It's just a very, very pale pastel pink nothing too crazy i paired it with some steve matten rose gold yeah these are like rose gold it's long and beautiful it's the perfect shade of pink and i feel like this would be very very nice for valentine's day like especially if you're going like to a fancy dinner now with me my jokes were spilling out but that's something that i just cannot control like i be trying to be classy and stuff but sometimes stuff just it don't give classy it just give sexy without even trying like I got chest, I got hips, all that, like, I don't, it just, <sighs> I, or I'm gonna just be completely covered up, you know? Like, so moving on to something else, which I'm kind of mad about, it's kind of busting out the seams. It fit, but I think the way I put it on, I kind of ruined it because I didn't loosen it and then I put it over my head and over my shoulders because I didn't feel like unstringing it. It's just this corset, it's red. And I got this in a size, got this in a size large. And surprisingly, a lot of tops that I buy like are just like that have like these already made cups. They don't fit on my boob. But actually, this actually was wide enough and it covered just enough that it needed to cover. Like, of course, it didn't cover my entire chest, 
but it covered like half enough to the point that I could actually wear this. So I appreciated that. Rose in the front. This is for my girls who don't really like dresses, but would rather wear like a pant type of outfit. I wear the jeans. I would probably opt for like a black wide leg leather pants. I think that would be really, really cute. Zebra heels at first, but I wasn't feeling it. So I switched over to these heels. I got these zebra heels from Shein like three or four years I'm lying like a year or two ago and then I got these black heels a year ago from Fashion Nova it's just like a little black pump one thing y'all learn about me I love 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 pumps pumps are one of my favorite style of heels just because like well it's only pumps or sandals or platforms I really really love pumps it's something about a pointed toe pump that just does something for me I think it's so sophisticated, so grown, so classy. Like, I love it. It's this colorful dress. Again, like I said, I was trying to give y'all options. Kind of provide some type of variety, but instead of the same old uh, pink dress, red dress. Um, you know, like, simple dress. Like, you can never go wrong with a dress. But I was trying to give y'all more things to, to, to the pie, you know? And so, it is this. It's like a mesh dress. And it has all these different colors in it. And it kind of gives me like floral vibes or like painted type vibes. And I really, really like this when I saw it on the model. Um, on me, I think I could have went down a size because it's not only long, but it's super stretchy. So I do feel like I could have went down a size because it kind of just bunched up in certain areas. And I kind of had to tie it in the back to really give, you know, to give body, to give shape. With a mesh dress, you really want it to be fitted so it can look really nice on you. But I read the reviews and I'm mad I did that because they was like, go up, go to get your regular size because... It runs big, it's tight on the seams, but this dress is not tight at all. So, here I have, this is a makeshift outfit. So I have this crop, a uh, little white button down that I got a while back from Pretty Little Thing. This hand is cropped, so it didn't really sit how I want to, but I would definitely wear a longer one if I were to wear this because it kind of kept coming out of the dress. I got this Zara dress, which I already had this. This dress is actually on my Instagram account and i got this in a size large as well and it's like this gray dress it has like this ruching around the bottom in the back and i really really love this dress so basically what i did i put it over you could also do this with a denim dress as well i think that would be really cute um but you can you put it over the button down and it kind of gives it like this flare i kind of saw a girl on pinterest do it with a denim dress yeah so i really like this and then i was like mm, what can i do to really make it pop off and i was like i really need some tights i remember that i never threw away my weighted men tights after my photo shoot which i need to throw them away because you're <laughs> paired up with these heart tights that i got from weighted men i'll probably find some more to link down below but i got these from that site and i paired it with these pink type of pink metallic heels from macy's they're by bcb g bcb generation i guess that's what it's called and then i paired it with my lipstick purse that i got for graduation and i feel like all together everything just came together so well and it looked just so cute and perfect I had pulled my hair up and I really, really loved how that look with the button down. This was definitely a look and this is definitely something I would wear. But that was the last and final look. Let me put all this stuff together and we're going to go close out this video. Alright you guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook. As I told you guys previously, I have so many, many, many more coming for you all within the next month. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite outfit was down below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. And yeah, I'm back in my bag. I've been slacking all January. I'm so, so sorry. It's just it's been a lot going on in January. I got a lot of updates coming for y'all. January has just started really, really slow. I had a really, really slow start to the new year. Y'all, I mean, it's nothing much to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook. V-Day is coming up. I hope you guys enjoy y'all holiday. I hope you guys gain some looks from this. Hope you like it or love it. As always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next freaking video. Oh, and we on the road to 300K. We real, real close. But yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>